My name is Grace. And my name is Love. Today we're going to read the Danny the Dragon. Uh, who will read the book? This is about this is about a story. A dragon, some villagers, as some as his men and a gang of robbers. Danny the dragon lived in some woods beside a tiny village. Some dragons are scary, but Danny was friendly. Morning, Joe. Morning, Danny. He's friend friendly with the villagers. Mm. Everyone in the village liked Danny. Morning, Danny. Morning, Danny. And Danny liked everyone in the village. Morning, Peg. Morning, Sam. Um, I think good morning is more better <laughs> than morning. Yeah. Each night, he visited every <coughs> villager. He lit their fires. Thanks, Danny. He cooked their food. Thanks, Danny. I think Danny is very kind. Danny helped Otter. Yeah, like grandma and grandpa. He lit their candles at as it grew dark. Thank you, Danny. Then he went to I went home feeling happy. Good night, Danny. Thanks again. One day a stranger came to the village. Roll up, he cried, buy Mr. Marvel's magic fire sticks. What about Danny? Danny will be no use then. But Danny is friendly though. The villagers had never seen magic fire stick before. What do you what do they do? asked John. I will show you, said Mr. Marvel. He's Marvel and he is selling the magic stick. They can light your <coughs> fires when you're cold. Incredible. Whoosh. They can cook your food when you're hungry. Unbelievable. Whoosh. I think he doesn't like Danny. Hmm. So they're just doing like that. Selling the magic sticks. And they can light your candles when it gets dark. Wonderful. The villagers were amazed. I will buy four. I will take five. I want six. They brought a mat all the magic fire stick on the wagon. I think this is not good. I think mm -hmm. they're paying and doing, but Danny did. He can just free. do it free. because he's very fun, friendly. And yeah. That night, Danny visited the villagers as usual. Shall I light your fire? He asked Joe. No thanks, Danny. I will. I have got magic fire sticks, said Joe. I don't need a dragon. Danny walked to the house next door. I think Danny is very sad. Shall I cook your food? He asked Peg. No thanks, Danny. I've got magic fire sticks, said Peg. I don't need a dragon. But magic fire sticks <coughs> can talk, but Danny is very friendly so he can talk together. And it's free. Danny went to the next house. Shall, shall I light your candles? He asked Sam. Thanks, Danny. I've got magic fire sticks, said Sam. I don't need a dragon. It was the same story at every house. No one needs me anymore, Danny thought. What if Danny dies? He walked into the woods and tried not to cry. At that moment, a 
gang of robbers were passing the village. He is going to cry. Mm. They noticed the smoke of the fires. They saw the light of the candles. What if they stole it? I think they will stole. Yeah, the light. And they will say, can you please help me, Danny? And I think Daniel will yeah, let them help. think. Yeah. Because mm. they mush. <laughs> uh, we don't know in English that. And they smell, smell it, the food cooking. Yeah, roasted chicken. Grubs up, cried the chief rapper. The rappers storm into the village. There's, I think there is a nice like, smell coming from that. Mm. They push the villagers away from the fires. Ouch! Ah, toasty! They snatched away their food. Ow! Mmm, tasty! They're taking everything away. So no use for the magic candles. Because magic candles, they need to make a game. And they tried oh, carried away their candles. Hey! Ha ha, very hand, handy. Who can help us? cried the villagers. Not me, said Mr. Morrow, and ran away. I think he's a little bit bad. Mm, I think he's scared. He only gets money and ran away. In the woods, Danny heard the cries of the villagers. Save us from the robbers! Help! He ran out of the woods and into the village. Danny charged up to the robbers. Yay, Danny will save everyone. He set their beaters on fire. Up, 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 <laughs> at the, the, the dragon. Wow, yow. Yow. Toasted their feet. At the, at the, the dragon. Ouch. They're scared because Danny is a dragon, but actually he's very friendly. Hmm. And he gives fires to everyone. And burn their bodies. <coughs> but the, the dragon. Ah, the robbers ran off and were never seen again. Don't let the dragon get us. Help. Look at the dog barking. I think he also likes Danny. Hmm. And everyone will be like happy. They, the downfall villager gave Danny his job back. Thank you, Danny. And found other use for Mr. Rose Magic Stick. He has built a house. I think that yeah. will quickly <laughs> grow. Yeah, when the water comes. And this is the end. Yes, today we read the Danny, Danny the, dragon. the Dragon. It was fun. And we will read you at the back. Some dragons are scary, but not Danny. He loves to help his friends with, very fe with, with his fiery breath. But Danny is in for a nasty surprise when a stranger arrives in town. The end. This is written by... Russell Punter, Russell Punter, and illustrated by Peter, Peter Cotter. It was a very nice song, and I really want to let you guys read this book. For it says reading level three, so maybe second grade or first grade kids can read this and improve their English if they're not Americans like us. And we really enjoyed this book. It was kind of funny. Like, Danny is so friendly. And I thought dragons are always scary, but mm -hmm. they're not. I like when I was a little, I said, Oh, dragon! I love dragon! But then suddenly, fire! <laughs> <laughs> and also, please subscribe and like. And please press the like, like mm -hmm. button down below. And we really, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Huh? And please watch Grace's Bible Smith story next time. Also. And 
I think next time I will read these stories. So watch out. Thank, Thank you. Bye. bye.